Today we're going to talk about two cycle and four cycle and what the differences are and why it matters and how they can uh, work in your world and in your life. So two cycle engines generally run on mixed fuel. So I'm going to take a bottle of oil and I'm going to put it with the proper amount of gas. In this situation, one gallon of fuel with this bottle of oil. And four cycle engines traditionally run on motor oil that goes in a crankcase right here and gasoline that's going to go in the fuel tank. So what are the advantages of a four cycle engine and why don't we have those on everything? And what are the advantages of a two cycle engine and why don't we have that on everything? So advantage of a four cycle engine would be easier to start, okay? So with a four cycle engine, we can build in a compression release through the valve setup and it makes it a much easier pull. Four cycle engines are also also traditionally quieter, so not as loud. They have a little bit more torque and they're cleaner. So big advantage is they meet and, and exceed EPA regulations for, for clean. So easier to pull, less noise, a little bit more torque and clean. Advantages of a two cycle engine are this. We don't have maintenance, right? Remember I put oil in the crankcase? Let me back up. I said we don't have maintenance. We still have maintenance, but we don't have to change the oil. So this machine right here, I put oil in the crankcase. I need to change that every 30, 40, 50 hours of use. I don't have to change the oil on a two cycle machine, right? I'm putting my oil in my gas. So all of my lubrications coming through my fuel, I don't have to change the oil. Another advantage is they're lighter weight, okay? Much lighter. And I know I'm comparing a, a full five and a half horse engine to a small weed eater engine, but right here, this is a four cycle engine right here. This, this engine weighs about two pounds more than this one, just the engine alone. So it's lighter weight. We don't have that maintenance. They can run in any position like this. They also have a higher RPM, so they generate uh, faster cutting, more, more horsepower to high RPM. The negatives of a two cycle are they're dirty. They don't meet the clean air regulations. They pull harder. So if I pull this rope, I gotta give it a quick rip. And they're usually louder because they're running at a higher RPM. So those are the basic differences between a, a two cycle and a four cycle. Well, about 15 or 20 years ago, Things started getting cracked down. Things needed to be cleaned up in the industry. We had a lot of pollution going on. Maybe not a lot, but there was pollution going on that was requiring change. So we've seen overhead valve four cycle engines get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And today the emissions they put out is very low. We saw two cycle engines undergo some changes to clean them up, to make them pass emissions regulations. And that was great. But then we saw kind of a hybrid technology come along. We saw a hybrid of what's called a four mix engine. So I'm gonna give a little visual aid here. This is a two cycle engine out of a weed eater, about a 24 cc weed eater and how this works. So on a, on a two cycle, as the piston is coming down like that, it is drawing in the fuel air mixture. And as it comes up, it's compressing and bang, we have fire and again, it's coming down. But while it's drawing in the fuel air mixture, it is also pushing out the exhaust. And in the past, a two cycle engine, roughly 30% of the exhaust was unburned fuel air mixture. All right, how do we clean that up? How do we get rid of that? Along comes this awesome engine called the Formix. And this is a four cycle overhead valve engine. And it's used in several steel products, including backpack blowers, and string trimmer engines, weed eater engines, the combi engine. Here's how this works. So on a four cycle engine, as the piston comes down, the intake valve will open up, allowing fuel air mixture to come in. It then closes as the compression stroke happens. So there's no, no blow by. We have the fire, the ignition, bang. The piston comes back down. Now the exhaust valve right here is going to open up and it's going to push out the exhaust. So we don't have what's called that scavenging loss. Okay. So four cycle, much cleaner, but two cycle, much lighter. 
what do we want? What are we going to use on something like this? We don't want it weighing 20 pounds. We need it to stay light. We don't want this weighing 30 pounds. How do we keep it light? So this four mix engine, advantages, it's clean. Okay, that's good. It pulls easier because it is an overhead valve two cycle engine. Sorry, why did I say two cycle? Because it's an overhead valve four cycle engine, it's a much easier pull. It's quieter. It's got a much lower tone. It's more fuel efficient and it can run in any position. There's no crankcase on this. When I say four mix, it's running our traditional two cycle gas oil. There's no crankcase on the bottom. I'm not changing the oil on this, so I don't have the oil maintenance. I can run it in any position. It's lighter weight, it's torquier, it's more powerful. I love it. This four mix engine is featured on the steel KM91, KM111, KM131, as well as the counterpart string trimmers, the FS series. It's also used on several other backpack blowers, the VR600, 700, 800. It's used on some of their edgers. It is great technology, clean, powerful, less maintenance. If you haven't already, check out the Steel Formic series of engines. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.